Hello students, welcome to GC Tech Hub CS Tutorials. In today's video, we will see a question. As you can see over here, this is a very important question with respect to your practical exam. So the question goes, write a Python program to implement a stack of books using a list data structure. Each element in the stack consists of a tuple object containing three things, book title, price and author. Define functions to implement push, pop and traverse operations. So you can see that you have to write a Python program for and within that program three operations have to be done push, pop and traverse. And what you are going to store in the stack, you are going to store items comprising of these three things. So these three things, book title, price and author, they represent a single book object. And that book object will be implemented as a tuple. Okay. So we are going to start with the main over here. Main is always the beginning of the program. So it's always better to start from here because once you start from main, you get to understand the flow of the program. So the first thing is I'm going to have stack and I'm going to name it as book stack. So this is book stack equals an empty list. So main stack uh, data structure will be implemented as a list and apart from that single book item will be implemented as a tuple. So we are going to do that a little later right because it's no point specifying the tuple over here as tuple is immutable and every time you assign something to the tuple object, it is created in, in a, at a separate place in the memory. So we are just going to move forward with this. Now, what I'm going to do is create a menu driven program. So firstly, while true, it's as usual, book stack. First item, push book. Second item, pop book. Third item, traverse book stack. And finally, you have exit. Now, enter the choice. Now, if ch is equals to 1, it means we have to push book and just give pass right in the beginning because we are going to fill up these elements a little later. Pop book elif ch is equal to 3. This is traverse book stack and finally else it's break. Please keep in mind that else will never have any condition because else is always the last resort. Now in the first one, I am going to ask for a book element from the user. So firstly, I will go back to main here. Define push book. And here I am going to ask for an element, ask for the uh, book element and we know that book element consists of three things book title price and author So first I'm going to ask for book title, which is usually the name of the book enter book title Second is price And here I'm going to accept it as float Next is author and I'm going to accept it as a string. And create a tuple over here that is book item, which will be consisting of book title, book price, and author. So these three things are done. My book item has been created. And now I just have to push the book so for that I will just be 
writing bookstack dot append book item so just i have appended it to the uh, stack book stack dot append book item and once this is done my uh, item has been pushed successfully to my uh, stack next is so now i can just call the function over here in main where i have created the first case for push book i can simply call the function push book and it will be done and what i can do is i can just display that so for displaying it we will be creating a function so we will create a function here named traverse and firstly over here i have to check if the stack is empty if book stack is empty it means that there is nothing to display so we will simply write stack is empty okay and if there is there is at least one element then we are going to do the processing over here so it's up to you if you simply want to display book stack like this this way also you can do it or any way you like so i'm going to show you another way that is for book in book stack now when i say for book in book stack it means book represents one tuple which consists of three things book title price and author so i'm going to write it like this print book 0 comma i'm going to separate it by a tab book 1 again i'm going to separate it by a tab and book 2 other than this you can also write it like this i'm just going to add some uh, text here book title is this book 0 followed by uh, book price followed by author okay so this way my elements will be displayed right so let us just try it out and let's call the traverse function over here. So this is the traverse function. So first push book, enter book title. So let me just give any random book title here. Okay, there is some issue with this. Let me just see what is the issue. okay i haven't used the input function here so that is one of the problems with my code here now i think it should not cause any problem so enter your choice number one push book book price and author name abc second again i'm going to push another book And let us just select the third option and check that is traverse book i'm not getting any answer over here so i'll just go back and check what is the issue with it so you can see i have just written the name of traverse but i have not used parenthesis so these are some practical problems okay you will face so again i'm going to enter the value Second one, I'm going to enter one more book. And third option, travel. So you can see these are the three elements. First element. The last element is mystique false, so that is the last element over here. 
and now we have to remember that if we have we are to uh, pop any element the last element will be popped first okay so let's do that we are going to create a pop function over here pop book and let's just write book item equals none in case there is nothing to delete uh, right in the beginning i am assigning book item as none now if book stack is empty first we will check if it is empty then we'll print stack is empty for stack underflow else it means there is some element in the stack so we are going to simply write book item is equals to <coughs> book stack dot pop and when I am simply writing pop, it means it is going to pop the last item. Remove the last item which is there in the list. So now uh, we are going to just pop an element. So this pop function will remove the last element, the last one, the last item which has been pushed to the stack. And now we are going to return book item. So if there is nothing to delete, none will be returned and if there is at least one item in the stack then whatever is at the last will be returned so now we come back to our second case that is for pop book now because this function pop book is returning an element we are going to write it like this book item equals pop book and we are going to print that also so how will we print we will print it like this book title or we'll simply write book pop is equal to book title book item 0 followed by price followed by author so this has been this has to be removed okay in case there is something to remove so i'll write here i can write it like this also means so in case now this line over here that is book item 0 1 and 2 it will be valid in that case where there is some element in the book item object but if suppose the stack is empty and there is nothing what is already returned in book item none so i have to write if not sorry if book item and then only the statement should execute that is if book item is not empty the meaning of the statement is if book item object is not empty that is it doesn't contain none then display the content of book item okay so this way i am going to now run the program let us enter some book titles So we have three items this is travers and now i'm going to select the second uh, option pop book so you can see the last winter is the last object which has been removed then again pop then again pop and now if you again go for pop you will see stack underflow because there is nothing to delete but now if you select traverse book stack it is going to give you stack is empty so this was one program where we implemented a stack of books it's not a very difficult program students if you just pay attention a little bit it will be very easy for you to do this question